Ringgold grew up in Harlem at a time when it was a hotbed of arts and culture. As her art career developed, she held on to the memories and inspirations that were cultivated there. Now Ringgold has brought those images back to her neighborhood in a mosaic that decorates the walls of a Harlem subway station. So I said, oh boy, I want to do 125th Street. Yeah, I want to do, because 125th Street is where all you know, the, the people are. I, that's the center. And uh, I went in there and got it. <laughs> that worked for me. These are people who I associate with my life growing up in Harlem. The musicians, the the artists, the politicians, all of these truly great people who influenced my life and made me know that I could do anything I wanted because they're doing it. On 25th Street was just the center of culture in those days. And I saw them all, and we all lived together. You know, like W.E.B. Du Bois lived right up the street from me. And Thurgood Marshall. Oh my goodness, we see those people all the time. I mean, those people were, you know, they just were just neighborhood people. We used to um, wait until three in the morning, and then we would go up to 155th Street and catch Duke Ellington coming out of the 155th Street subway. And he would stop in the little diner right there on the corner and we'd be in there waiting for him. And he would come in and he would order a pint of ice cream to go. And we would just sit there and just drool over him. But you couldn't run up to these people and start yelling about, you know, will you be an autograph? No, they don't, don't do that. Just, you know, be cool. And we did, but we also got there to see him. <laughs> he was so wonderful. There's no law saying you can't get rid of perspective. There's no law saying you can't get rid of chiaroscuro. If you want things to be flat, and I do, I want to use the colors and I want them seen. I don't want the light in the shade. I levitate all of them. Well, it's a certain kind of freedom, which I think is, is just the most important thing in the world. It's also an interesting way to use the space, you know, inject the people in the space, have them moving through it. How come you didn't put yourself flying up on a wall, no? Um, I, I have myself flying sometimes somewhere, you know. Please, I don't leave myself out of anything. <laughs> hmm. That's an idea, I should have done that. I should have put myself over there with the artist. Didn't give it a thought. Ringgold's work, Coming to Jones Road Under a Blood Red Sky, a silk screen on silk can be seen at Pasadena City College. You can see more at faithringgold.com.